Uh, the euro yen for the week of October 19. As you know, we are long the euro yen from above the uh, 132 uh, buying point. I'll show you that point on the radar screen in a second. But we are long uh, the uh, euro yen, and we're looking now for a push towards the 147, 137.41. And uh, the the 137.41 is quite a significant point because it has been now the uh, equilibrium zone, which uh, has been going all the way in from the late 2003 until the uh, 2005, and it was the starting point of the big rally that we had or the bull push in the uh, euro yen. So right now we have also this congestion area and this congestion area as you have uh, might as you, all of you have attended in the class when we were doing the is what we call matching congestions or matching equilibrium zones or matching price acceptance zones and that what signifies more these uh, price points and therefore in those matching congestions we'll be looking for matching behavior and as you see in this area here we have been testing the 131.50 for quite some time for a period of about a year and also in this area here we have been testing the uh, 131.50 now for about the last seven months and then we have resolved it ourselves to the upside so that is a good indication of how far the or what is going to be the ensuing move into the uh, euro yen and that when this move began from 131.50 it took us all the way up towards the 166 or 168 on the uh, euro yen so we should be expecting a very much a similar mo uh, move to the upside and we should be now quite bullish on the uh, euro yen and we should be maintaining our bias the price point where we're going to add more to our position is going to be above the 137.41 uh, because now that would be it was also the breakout and where it came back and now it is held so we are going to stay with our long position looking for a similar move to what has happened before now uh, looking at the daily chart as I mentioned to you this was our buy uh, during the week when it, when we traded above the uh, 130 uh, 118 and that was the magnificent push that we had and on Friday uh, we did have a, a slightly neutral day which is very normal behavior uh, after uh, a, a big range day we even had a continuation to the upside and when once we closed on that day we still closed above the prior momentum high so that is again a very positive move a very bullish move around the very bullish close for the euro yen and the euro yen should be one of our candidate trades or one of the trades of a higher hierarchy that we should be looking forward to trading this coming week so the euro yen is a very as I said quite uh, bullish and we should be holding our long position if not to add more our selling point just in case then because we all, whenever we always plan we plan a long point and a short point so long we are we are already still long so my short point is only going to be a trade below the 134.40 which is a prior significant point but we are still maintaining our bias so I'm just going to put my short point below 134.40 and this was actually one of our buys last week so now it is going to become our selling point 
So anywhere as long as we're over here, there is no reason for us to initiate a short. And I'm going now to try to find a buying point for us to be buying the uh, euro yen in the Tokyo session. So on a close above the which we already did, we have closed above 135.47, uh, which we are above the the prior momentum high of 135.44. So that is a buying. Uh, or a strong close as I said so in Tokyo we are going to be taking the buys out of the Tokyo session to the upside and I will not be taking the shorts even though it opens here and it starts selling to the downside because of this major momentum this could be a big gift I will not be in a hurry to short the euro yen unless it trades below the 134.40. So anything, any open over here, if it opens somewhere in the low zone over here and it pushes out of the range to the downside, I am not going to take that short. I am going to filter the short and I will be looking either to a reversal into the range or a break to the upside of the range to initiate a buy for a retest of the 136 and to push and make new higher highs. So let me just make sure that all the data is entered in the radar screen. Okay, this was, was our buy from last week, the 132.20. So I'm now going to uh, our buy is still at this moment is going to be above if you really want to be cautious so we're going to take the buy above the 136 that this is was our long point from last week above 132.20 and the short point was below 131.50 so now uh, my buying point is going to be 136 and my short point is going to be the 134 let me get this number again the 134.40 so I'm just going to put it in the radar screen And as I said, we're looking for a major push to the upside. 